different varieties of garnet. Contrary to popular opinion, garnets aren't actually just one thing. They actually belong to an enormously diverse family of gemstones. Garnets offer a captivating array of hues, each of which has its own unique characteristics. In this video, I'm going to try and explore the main varieties of garnet and unravel their distinctive qualities, giving you an opportunity to diagnose exactly what kind you have. Let's start with almondine garnet. I'm not doing these in any particular order, but I just thought it sounded natural given that it starts with A, and it's arguably the most common form of garnet. Now, almondine garnet, which is also known as almondite on occasion, is the most common variety of garnet, meaning it's the one that you're most likely going to encounter. It's deep red to a reddish brown colour, which is reminiscent of sort of ripe pomegranate seeds, which has earned it the nickname carbuncle in ancient times. Almondine or almondite garnets are typically transparent with a vaguely vitreous luster. They are often found as individual crystals or as part of a metamorphic rock. To identify almondine garnets, look at their rich red colour and the absence of visible flaws or inclusions. Now this is what's known as a pyrope garnet. Now pyrope garnets, which are also on occasion referred to as bohemian garnets, are characterised by a more vibrant red colour, often resembling the hue of a ruby. Now, the name pyrope, which I realise is not a very conventional word, comes from the Greek words meaning fire and eye, which is vaguely alluding to the gemstone's fiery colour. Unlike almondine, which are a similar sort of colour, pyrope garnets tend to have a purer red colour with less brown undertones. They can also exhibit a deep red with a hint of purple. To identify pyrope garnets, look for their intense red colour, as well as their high transparency. Now this is what is known as a spessartine garnet. Now spessartine garnets are also known as mandarin garnets on occasion, and are renowned for their really beautiful orange to orange red hues. They're named after the Spessart Mountains in Germany. Now, these gemstones capture the warm radiance of a setting sun, if you want a vaguely visual way of remembering them. Unlike other garnet varieties, spessartine garnets can exhibit a range of colours, including yellowish orange or reddish brown. Their colour is attributed to traces of manganese in their chemical composition. Now, to identify spessartine garnets relative to their contemporaries, focus on their vibrant orange colour as well as high transparency, which is not something that extends out more broadly to every group of garnets. Now for andradite garnet. Andradite garnet comes in various different colours, but the most famous is probably the greenish-yellow variety known as demantoid, which is photographed in front of you. Demantoid garnets are renowned for their exceptional brilliance and their dispersion, which creates a remarkable play of light, similar to that of a diamond, in fact. In addition to green, andradite garnets can also be found in brown, black, or even colourless. To identify andradite garnets relative to their contemporaries, pay attention to their colour range and their exceptional brilliance. I thought it would be appropriate to end with my favourite of all of the garnets, probably because I just like saying it, Uvarovite garnet. Now, Uvarovite garnet is a rare variety known for its striking emerald green colour. Now, it's the only garnet variety to exclusively display green hues. Uvarovite garnets usually occur as small, well-defined crystals and are highly sought after by collectors. When trying to identify Uvarovite, look of course for its striking green emerald appearance, which is vibrant and very uniform. Also observe its transparency, which is usually transparent but occasionally slightly translucent. Also notice its vitreous or glassy luster, especially when light reflects off of its surface. And of course, consider its rarity, because Uvarovite isn't just the rarest variety of garnet, it's amongst some of the rarest gemstones in the world. Thank you for watching that video. Now, my name is Luke and I'm one of the writers here at Salt Shack. Now, what we do here is we teach people geology, mineralogy, gemology, archaeology, paleontology, and all manner of ologies as it pertains to very interesting things that come out of the ground. 
We will teach you how something forms or how it gets its color. We'll tell you how to identify it. We'll tell you diagnostic techniques. We'll tell you all about fakes and we'll tell you the history and maybe mythology and how indelibly etched many of the things that we sell are into ancient folklore and the stories of very interesting civilizations. Now, if you want to better understand these things in order to have a more well-rounded understanding of very cryptic subjects or to better insulate yourself from many of the duplicitous practices that go on within the crystal industry, then why not follow us and join the club?